And then we can see ourselves moving around and it's counting down. That's right. All right. I will. I'll trim it. Or oh, we'll just do the fucking director's cut again like we used to do. What's up, everyone? We are live from the hive. We've taken a break from the hive for a while. You know, um, what can I say? It kind of became routine. We only had the same few bikes finishing the same few places for a long time. But now we've saved up uh, uh, some pretty good news here. So um, <clears throat> we're going to start out with the fact that we've had some new guys that are with, out of the last few races at uh, Dade City Motocross Series in the three-wheel class. David and John Williams came out a couple weeks ago. That was really cool to have them. Um, Dylan McCord. Dylan McCord has... Uh, has been there twice so far on, on the new BBC uh, 4, 490, I think. It's like a big bore 450 or something. I don't know, but this is pretty awesome. He came out the first time. It was a mud race. Second time, uh, he made some changes to the bike, and last night uh, ran ran pretty well. So uh, let's get into our race results. This is from uh, last night. Whatever the date was last night, November what? All right, we're going to. Uh, go to our information here. Yesterday would have been uh, November 2nd. Saturday, November 2nd. Day City Motocross three-wheel class results. We're just going to go right through them. Jeff Corelli, of course, one and one on what he calls his trail bike. Apparently, his trail bike's pretty nasty customer. Um, he got out there, did some fantastic GoPro front to back, and, uh, um, and he killed it. One and one, as usual. Jeff Corelli, congratulations, champ. Right behind him and hot on his heels. What a show. The GoPros are great. Chad Gathany, man, Chad, you're going to get him one day. Chad goes 2-2 two and two for second overall. Oh, uh, man, third place, Craig Gingrich. Great. Good to have Craig back. Craig's been missing for a couple weeks. Uh, he went 3-5 and five for third overall. Uh, Craig, Craig's, uh, Craig's a monster on the whole shot, man. He really he really can drop the hammer off the gate. The, uh, I think he, he, he carries that over from his drag racing hobby. So. Um, good job, Craig. Dale. Dale Powell, happy birthday. Yesterday was Dale's birthday. He came, uh, his wife and, and, and kids were with him on his birthday to come race at Dade City in the three-wheel class. Pretty awesome. He went 7-3, and three, and I'm tell you what, he would have done a lot better. 7-3 and three for fourth overall. He went seventh because it, it, you, you got to see the GoPro if you haven't. Uh, he does this fantastic wall-climb Spider-Man thing, you know. He, we take off in, in, in the whole shot in Moto 1, and it, it turns left, and then it turns right. It turns left, and you've got Craig in the front and Jeff right behind him. And both of them said, right after it turns left, Dale flies past them <laughs> way too fast to make the next turn. So there's a huge table on your left. He makes the right and just climbs right up the side of that table because there's no way he's going to make the corner. So by the time I come around the corner, he's tumbling down. Uh, I'm glad he's okay. Got up and finished the race. Uh, seven and three for fourth overall. Dale, Dale has that Tri-Z uh, uh, running really, really well. So uh, good to see you on your birthday yesterday, Dale. Fifth overall, getting th going six and four in Moto One and Two. Connor Burrow. Connor, uh, most improved on this on the season without a doubt, man. This kid, uh, 20 years old, out there on a, on a 250R. An actual 250, no ESR kit, uh, uh, tuned very well. He's done a great job building this bike, does a great job riding it, um, getting getting fast, man. This kid, uh, he definitely graduated from Killer B School. It was fun racing with Connor for, for a few months, but uh, he, he's up there going faster and jumping further than this old man wants to do. So congratulations, Connor, um, fifth last night. Uh, behind him, Dylan McCord. The newcomer goes five and six, looking good. The BBC is a great bike. Uh, glad your setup changes worked out for last night to be a better run. Behind him, seventh overall, going four and seven. Randy Sawyer. Good to see Randy Sawyer again, you know. He uh, kind of dropped off the planet and played with his fish tanks for a few months, but uh, he's back for the last two races, which is really great to have him back. And I tell you what, check out the videos of Randy Sawyer. Randy, uh, uh, you know, good thing that thing doesn't have wings because it would have just took off. He, uh, he he aired it out like no one else last night and uh, and, and looked, looked really good. Good seeing you, Randy. And then there was me, the caboose, Killer B, 8-8 eight eight for 8th overall, last place, the king of last place, man. Un undisputed king of last place. 
Um, I, I see it as a victory. Last few weeks have been a real struggle for me. Last two months, uh, bike problems, crashes. Last two races in a row, I crashed out both times. Both my legs are destroyed. Went out there last night, finished two motos without any problems, without any crashes. Last place, but it was a victory for me. I had a great time doing it. Thanks everyone for being there. Thanks Dade City Motocross for having us. Uh, it was a great time. So that's about all we got for race results. We got one to go, and 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 the uh, 2019 DCMX Champion Series will be wrapped up. Banquet after that. Um, what do we got going on here? Uh, congratulations! I'm gonna sneak one in here real quick. Congratulations, Tony Verano on uh, uh, first place in the quad class. I think he's gonna uh, pretty well sweep the quad class this year for the uh, DCMX Championship. He's one of our boys though, so I wanted to shout him out. Um, as soon as we end, uh, uh, MX Central Power Sports Series at Waldo has a winter schedule coming up for guys that want to go do some MX uh, three-wheeler quad dirt bike at Waldo through the winter. Check them out. Uh, also, some flat track stuff going on up in Jacksonville. Um, looking forward to uh, uh, running for uh, uh, White Ass Open Racing. Bert Needham is going to uh, let me pilot one of his Takatis on the flat track up there a couple times this winter. And, uh, I look forward to it. I've been wanting to try out a Kawasaki, so thank you, Bert. Uh, I'll see you up there in Jacksonville. You guys check that out. Uh, Chris Steiger is always posting uh, about those particular races on uh, ATC Outlaws and pretty much all over the place, so keep your eyes open for those. Uh, on3, man. Thank you, On3. On3 has come through as the title sponsor for the Florida ATC National, February 29, 2020. We will have uh, a camp out for a couple days leading up to that. Um, at Croom Motorcycle Park, very close to Dade City Motocross, and what and we have what we've got going on is we've got access where we can come in. The guys can come in from Croom late Friday. They can get into Dade City, get their camp set up, get their bikes set up. Um, uh, I'm going to make a video on the national page. Go to the Florida Agency National Group uh, uh, for more information on that. But we're going to camp out there Friday night. We're going to run a 10-hour venue on Saturday. Uh, that's going to be a really great uh, uh, for everyone, from from kids to seniors and ability classes, age classes, all that stuff. On three, title sponsor for that one. Um, looking forward to it, man. It's going to be really great. So, thanks everybody for listening. Hope you enjoyed the race report. One to go, and we'll wrap up the season. So, champ, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. On three, congratulations, everybody. Love hanging out with you. Love racing with you. You're all my friends. So see you next time.